Once upon a time, there was an ending. And we minions searched high and low for a new overlord. We were like fleas without a dog, maggots without a carcass, pimples without a face. And on midwinter's eve, in the town of Nordberg, we found a beginning. My pa says that he was found outside Nordberg's gates. Wish they'd left him there. Don't come near me! Snowman, yeah! Master would know how to smash snow thingies! Oh, oh, oh! Hit them, snowy men, Master! He destroyed our snowman! You're a big, mean bully! We'll get you for that! <laughs> he made me drop me lantern! He made me drop me lantern! The master would use magic! Show magic, master! See you, demon child. Stop that floating about. You trying to make old Nev sick? You ain't getting in here. I have orders. No witch boys with your funny eyes. And no demons. Go wobble about someplace else. Push off and take your funny eyes with you. Hey, I'll show you the way. Don't come in here. Well, I like him. He's breaking through. Bother 
fooling you anymore. Hello, kiddies. Come for the party? Hey, why did you bring that witch boy? He's got funny eyes, I tell you. You can come in, but behave yourself. Only drink apple juice. Just like me. And don't let that witch boy go to the stray. Maybe they're just overtired. Hey, you can't be in here. These are highly flammable and have to be handled by a professional. Users, Nordberg, so they may be cleansed. In the name of the Empire and your new governor, Boreas. We have no magic users here. We are simple people of the land. Do not lie. The Sentinels have spoken. Surrender your magic users or we will cleanse your whole town if necessary. Well, <sighs> well, maybe we do have one. Keep together, lads! Follow! Follow! Come! Come! Our master would follow!
new overlord, you say? This is the last hope for evil. He's a little short. Whoa. Destroyed an entire legion. Bodies, screams, minion carnage. Oh, that is good news. Fire up the dragon! The boy needs a proper evil upbringing. And whilst evil was nurtured in the bowels of the earth, in its absence came the rise of a new age, a new power, and thus began the reign of the glorious empire. Everyone was happy, and those who weren't were killed, enslaved, or had other nasty things to do. It's your time, master. Time to crash the party. Time to crush the empire. Time to bring back the flag. Use the minions of war. Because evil always finds a way. Here he comes. The master? Oh, the master, the master. We'll see. That's correct, Rad. He must be tested. As the beetle is tested by the dung pile. Follow, follow. Those Nordberg winds go right at my nethers, so I'll stay here. Your helmet will allow me to hear and see what you do. Think he's smart enough to get it? Bet Maggie he ain't. Me bet three. The first test is a test of strength. Who oh, he who would be our true overlording master? We managed to find an old friend of yours. He's been on ice for quite a while. <laughs> rush, rush, rush. Yetis are relatively gentle creatures and extremely hardy. Nature's training dummies. At your current level, you can bash him around for hours and he'll hardly feel a thing. The root waver. <laughs> Find old pit. Savages, no appreciation of true art. He can. No, he'd need your touch. Indelicate. But you, Germanian, what the call of fur? Minions to reach the creature. It's wandered off! Oh, you should catch up with him in the hunting grounds. bursting with life force, both hunters and the hunted. You should gather plenty of it to support the minions needed to build your dark tower. Welcome to the test of life force gathering. The fluffy rats! See? Poor fishy! Die! Die, ready fur ball! Now the hunt begins! Show them who's top of the food chain! Those glowing orbs 
Arms are life force. Gather them and they'll collect in the netherworld, allowing you to summon more minions from the gates. Brown minion gate for master! Ah, there you are! This is Grubby, sire. He's a minion digger. Diggers can tunnel out of the netherworld and create minion gates in certain areas. They're drawn to your e- Ah! Newborn minions! Summon enough to fill your maximum horde size. The rest will start on the construction of your dark tower. Hey, where did you come from? I got a permit from the Empire to hunt on these lands. This is my Yeti. I saw it first. Get lost. <laughs> Looks like our friend has forged a path ahead. Look at all that lovely life force. Oh, no way to get into that area. Ah, pretty Wolfie. So playful. Me right, Wolfie. You need more wolves for your minions. Giddy up. Come on. Soldiers of the Sanctuary, valiant protectors of the sanctuaries, and all creatures of magic and nature. Soldiers, stop this savage! Protect the fluffy ones! Tell him, Lev. Well, that's what happens when you spend too much time hugging things, sire. Perhaps all he needs is a hug. All creatures of the Mother Goddess are beautiful, especially the cute ones. <laughs> Like our friend has forged a path ahead. Continue to camp and find out what that Yeti's up to. Don't forget, we still need the spellstone to give the Netherworld a bit of a kick in the pants. Those elves are magical. I wonder if they've got something knocking about in their sanctuary that would do the trick. You remember that face, sir? It's not bad. The sneaky seal little town that was going to hand you over to the Empire! Magic must always have a place in this world! Oh, he's not looking quite so gentle anymore. In fact, he looks rather peeved. You're giving off bad vibes! Our bodies may descend, but our minds rise to a higher 
your spiritual plane! Track down the infidels! No, no! Stop this at once! This noble beast belongs with us! Come here! Come here, boy! As if we magical folk didn't have enough problems of our own with the Empire without the likes of you trying to expunge us! Now, let us away! Set sail for the sanctuary! Follow them, sire. If only we had the swimming abilities of the blue minions. Oh well, looks like we'll have to find another way into this sanctuary of theirs. Your mounts won't follow you into certain areas, sire. And like all primitive beasts, these wolves are afraid of fires. Don't worry. Do hurry up. I have a warm oil bath and a large plate of quail's eyeballs to attend to. Of course, Boreas. I thought you'd like to meet some of the brave men who secured the magical creatures from the, uh, area. And these are the lucky ones. What's up with you, Maximus? No, I wanted to call me Miss Trixieville Buttercup Fairy. Uh, are you serious? Then you can all come and visit me when I move in, <clears throat> in into my mushroom house. SIC Species Identity Crisis. It's a terrible thing. We have no idea what this is, but it was well guarded. Well, make sure it doesn't eat anyone, and then bring it to my town hall. Foolish fat human, that's a spellstone, sire. It unlocks the magical potential of any who possess it. Better not let it fall into Boreas's pudgy hands. <laughs> Welcome to the Sanctuary Creature of Magic. No, do not let this barbarian in, Dryad. He is an enemy to all that is fluffy and adorable, like this poor fellow here. <laughs> Don't worry, Lord. I'm sure you'll find a way to bypass that pesky plant. This looks like a shard of netherworld rock. Perhaps it will become active once the netherworld accepts you as its true overlord. Know what happened here? The box is our game. As soon as Grubby can build a gate, you can send it back to the Netherworld. He said that spellstone we stole belongs to the gnomes. Now he's either declaring war or he wants to marry you to his pet dormouse. That's clearly an act of aggression, sire. Cannot be tolerated. Exterminate those squeakers. Attack! Ah, Nordberg. Nearly 13 winters have passed since you were last there, sire. Soon you will return. Once more on the feasting of Midwinter's Eve to finish what you started. Revenge is a dish best served cold and screaming. Take it! Okay! For you! And Governor Boreas said he wanted stuffed widgeon at the Midwinter's Feast. Oh, he said to the wife, what the hell's a widgeon? Oh, that's posh stuff. I think it's maybe some kind of small bear. Do you think if we put a wolf skin on a... Grubby has managed to bring you a netherworld, Gate Master. This will allow your minions to transport the spellstone straight to the netherworld. Delicious! Look at all that evil 
evil energy surging into you, Lord. I don't quite know what spell it's unlocked within you, sire. If you run into some townsfolk, do feel free to use them as test subjects. Sound the alarm! The Netherworld has accepted you as its master! Oh, I knew it! I knew it! Do calm down, Quaver. We don't want another accident. You are indeed our true overlord. It's somewhat of a relief, sire. We didn't want to have to marry another candidate. The Netherworld will be your new seat of power, Lord. It's a little on the cavernous side at the moment, but now you're properly here, we can start to refurbish and expand the tunnel system. This will allow us access to other areas of the world where you can establish your new dark domain. I feel a small poem has called for to commemorate the event. Oh dear, he's off again. <laughs> There was a boy from the Nordberg town who sent the locals screaming. But now the boy's become a man. He'll start his evil scheming. Sorry about that, sire. Sometimes there's no stopping him. Believe me, I've tried. This is your throne, sire. And it's not just a place to rest your evil posterior. You can teleport around your domain from here, and it will also alert you about recent events and quests. Why don't you try it out, and then let me know if you'd like to take the tour. 